Well, you've been open about, you know, you've dealt with a lot of depression in your life. Oh, boy. So have I. Uh, yeah. So have a lot of people. We go to therapy, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but someone who deals with a lot of depression, you think that this industry is absolutely not right for them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, although I almost think that the reason that people get depressed is because they are more aware and they are more wired into what reality is. And that makes you a better creative person when you are much more aware of what the overall deal is in life and all the little subtleties and all the little subtle injustices that can lead to depression. Um, there's a very dark thing I heard said one time, which was a lot of times the reason that people commit suicide is because they do see how horrible life can be. And they're actually very sensitive. It's the people that don't commit suicide that make life unbearable sometimes. It's the people that are just like, it's awesome. You kidding? Uh, you're know, like, they're, they're just riding around doing damage, not caring. It's like, you should actually be beside yourself the the damage you're putting out into the world. So it's these the sensitive people, they're, they're hyper aware. They're hyper aware. And those are the people that we actually need to save and keep in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what makes it so sad to me. Well, you know? Yeah. Would you, would you get depressed if you had a bad set do you get depressed if something fails do you get depressed i yes i used to get really depressed when i had a bad set but uh here's the best thing about having and i'm sure you've had this too when you have a bad set or you do a movie and the movie just you, while you're working on it you're like this is going to change everything and it comes out and just absolutely eats expectations it. expectations but but there's nothing better than waking up the, the day after a bad set or a bad show or whatever and go Oh, the world didn't end. Oh, it, it, I'm not, I'm actually not that important. I can keep going on with my art. I only sucked to about 400 people who were there that night. Exactly. Sort of temporarily. Yeah. And by the way, when I show up tonight at a, at a new show, no one there's going to know what happened the, the night before. So it doesn't like, I can just keep going. Do you remember the feeling that you had failing and the numbness? I remember the numbness and the like, almost like the world's ending and you, you just feel like everything stopped. And, and, and then how did you slowly get out of that and start to deal with it in a better way? The way you... you Boy, you just, the word slowly was very key. Uh, you have to slowly wake up each day and it'll take you a couple days to then realize, oh, wait, I can just keep going. And that didn't end, that didn't decide anything for me. And that didn't um, move the needle either way. I'm allowed to go up and just, and screw things up. Yeah. It's okay. You're, you're not going to, anyone that like, I think that happens to writers a lot. They'll write their first draft and then they'll show it to people like, well, you need to, they're like, what the, like, they can't believe it. Nothing's very few, not, not nothing, but very few things are perfect out of the, out of the gate. Yeah. They need working. Uh, so you're saying now that you've done this for so long, first of all, do you really, do you love it? Do you love the industry? Do you I love working? Do you love acting? It's not that I love the industry, the industry itself. You can't judge the creative life by the industry, by the, the infrastructure that it exists in. Because if you judge it by then, then it's horrible. Right. We see how horrible it is right now. Right. But the fact that I get to, I write jokes. I hang out with other comedians. I hang out with other people that are really into movies. Before we even started recording, we're talking about, have you seen this movie? Oh my God, you got to go see. Like, we're still excited. As much as it's I'm a excited passion. to, to um, be in things, I'm way more excited to get to, watch things and experience things. I just filmed a TV show with an actress I'd never worked with that I'm a huge what fan show? of. I, I don't think I can say okay, yet. Okay, that's all right. But I, I'm not like this, hey, we're on the same level. I, You know, when I meet someone that I'm a big fan of, I totally fan out. I don't so try do I. to go like, I do too. hey, yeah, what's up? Like, and I Hence totally, all the autographs around. <laughs> yeah, and I totally fanned out on her. And then I said, I'm not going to bother you while we're shooting because we got all these scenes to do. But at the end of the day, can we have a picture together? And she was like, absolutely. Like, I'm not, I'm never going to not be that guy. I think people like that. Yeah. Whether they say it or not, I think that there's an ego and a, there's something nice about going, oh, this person likes me and they it makes them feel bigger or better. It, it or, was such a big deal to get to do scenes with her. Can you say who it is? Um, no, because I think that'll spill some Is it a big it. actor? To, Actress? She, yes, she is. Not, Meryl not only, Streep. Not only is she a big actress, she's one of those people that kind of along the lines of what we were talking about, she had a, there's another thing you got to realize. Sometimes you will have a huge spike of success 
And then you won't do anything for a while. Yeah. And then you got to wait for the next spike. So she had a big spike of success and then she worked steadily. And it wasn't until these last couple of years that people realized, oh, she's a genuinely amazing actor. Like she is, has levels that people haven't let her go to because she was always just so ridiculously hot and beautiful that they're like, well, that's what she does. 